friends, welcome back. Today's practice, we're gonna return to some of our big arms. Um, we did them before with a little bit of awareness of shoulders and bringing our elbows in and out. We're actually gonna do this, um, and this is something more recent for me that I, I saw in a, in a practice session with my teacher, and I loved it so much because I love going to the symphony. And he was talking about um, music, you know, directors, symphony directors, how their arms are always out and directing energy. And in, in his practitioner mindset um, and teacher, having done this for so many years, um, it was the most beautiful example of Qigong and energy practice. So we're going to practice it ourselves. Why not? Let's direct some orchestras, my friends. Let's do it. So we're gonna get started by activating our hands. We're gonna rub them together. Just to get a sense of warmth. Remember, our hands are part of our tools. And then we're gonna actually activate these uh, arms. We're gonna rub them a little bit, um, even all the way to the shoulder. Rub here and across the body. Here, across, across the muscles. You can even pinch a little bit if you'd like, all the way. And if you'd like, you can make, cup your hand a little bit and just sort of like tiny little smacks across the arm, right? You're just kind of doing a little tap, tap. Going all the way to the shoulder, all the way to the shoulder, shaking your hands out and then grounding ourselves. Remember, feet shoulder width apart, our hips just ever so slightly tilted forward, tiny little tilt. Knees are soft, not straight. Loose your, loosen your knees. Back is reaching, the head is reaching into the sky. Opening our chest up, allowing our breath to be expansive and big. And bringing our mind to the present moment. Noticing the feelings, thoughts, and sensations that appeared with us today. Allowing everything to be as is. No judgments, no critiques allowing things to transpire. Okay, we're gonna bring our hands up together and we're gonna just come up and out. Come up and out. And breathe and out. Literally, doesn't it look like we're directing an orchestra? Watch your elbows, don't droop. Right? I always say there's no wrong way, but I invite you to really challenge yourself. You're gonna to start to feel your shoulders activating, right? This is fine for a second here, but this is you being brave. This is you saying, I'm big, I'm expansive, I'm giant, I'm gonna open my chest up. So we're gonna breathe in, breathe out. And I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna bring one hand forward and then they're gonna go out and forward and out. So let me get a little bit closer to you here so you can see. So we're gonna come left hand forward, both of them are up and out and up and out. You got it. And up and out and up and out. Now breathe in and out pause pause notice if you're anything like me your shoulders activated your muscles saying Whoa! what is this? This is new. I've never done this before. I'm feeling tense. I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling pressure. I don't know what I'm feeling. It's just the muscle working. And you got this. Relax it for a second. Come back out. And you're going to go out. And good. One hand comes out. Both hands go out to the side. 
Let's do it with a breath. Keep breathing. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's direct forward and out, forward and out, forward and out, and rest. Don't rush away, don't hit stop, don't walk away. This is as much the healing practice as the movement part. The noticing, the awareness, the increased presence to your own self. Hello, Natalia. I'm so glad you took five minutes to do this practice. Yep, could be as simple as that. Notice how you feel. For me, it's warmth in my shoulders. I feel a sense of, wow, I'm actually working my muscles doing that exercise or that practice, and it feels great. Part of me feels a little bit like, oh, I'm not strong enough to do this. And as soon as I catch that thought, I, no, no, wait, hold on, because you're doing it. And that's what counts. So pay attention to your inner critics. Tell them to go take a cup of tea, drink it somewhere else on the patio or in the backyard, or just send them out to the movies. And you stay with your sweet, wise self and acknowledge and appreciate the work that you're doing. Until next time, please subscribe, leave a comment, let us know how it went for you. I can't wait to hear from you. It really is the world to me as a change maker in this community uh, to know that I am here to amplify and elevate the voice of all the people who are working through anxiety and depression and all kinds of struggle, overwhelm, stress, to prevent burnout. Please leave us a comment. Let us know how can we be of help. Till next time, have a blessed day. Bye.